Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back. I am Sudo, and happy Monday if there ever was such a thing. We're going to be showing off some Berserker tonight. I uh, not only have a new chair, I have a new build. We've been iterating on this build for a while. Uh, welcome, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you're well. Hey, Silhouette, what's up? Um, jumping into World vs. World, tragically, this one doesn't work in PvP like the Spellbreaker one does. Uh, <laughs> they have yet to add Boon Duration back to PvP, so let's hop into it. Uh, make sure it looks good, sounds good. Um, chatting with you guys about the updates. There were some news drops today out of the blue. I had a short and a news post about a couple of them. But we'll be talking about that, going through it a little bit, because I don't know how much I'll be able to... Uh, I'll be out of the office tomorrow a little bit. So I'll do my best to get any shorts of um, gem store items or anything they tend to data mine and whatnot. Hey, Shocktify, what's up? Welcome, welcome back. Hopefully you're well. And thank you to our couple followers we had over the break. Uh, Natchan, as well as kimono chameleon or camel chameleon sorry great name um but yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying the content we actually had a bunch of new subscribers and followers so welcome if you're new this is a build channel i am pseudo and let's get it rolling looks good on twitch and youtube but hopefully you guys have had a fantastic start to your week and uh in case you live under a rock again sorry you do but sab comes back tomorrow so there'll be lots of news lots of jumping uh if you didn't know what sab is it stands for super adventure bros or super adventure box uh don't don't cancel me it's super adventure box but it's based on mario it's very fun um if you've never checked it out in this game go check it out it's extremely fun um it's kind of a very unique festival as far as mmos go and definitely something to experience even if you are a uh, free-to-play player and just checking this game out for the first time so it's pretty solid um very very fun also this build should be in chat so if you want to go grab it and follow along with the class you are more than welcome to um, and if you have any questions about any previous builds that we've had on the channel let me know last time we showed off a spellbreaker build it was pretty sick um been playing some pvp might hop and do some pvp today um but i just got done the gym so let me cool down, grab a protein shake, and hopefully we can take this camp uh, before my stream dies. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't spoil it too much for people, Silva. But I think they're just getting here, uh, jumping in. Hey, Sudev, what's up? So if you didn't know, uh, ArenaNet had a blog post that we'll go through in a little bit. And we, have, of course, will be doing our gold giveaways as well tonight. Um, it is Monday and we will be looking into that um, trivia giveaway as well as actually we might just do a couple RNG giveaways. I had a trivia question, but I forgot to write it down. Ooh, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, this is not one guy. Never mind. It's a, it's a few guys, a few boys. Ooh, is this a GVG? We could watch the GVG while I uh, get my stream going here. But... If you didn't know, ArenaNet had a very cool blog post today that we will be looking at. Um, it ended with a sort of teaser that I have put up on the channel with fair warning. So again, spoilers ahoy um, for what the fifth expansion could possibly be. But we got a um, little teaser as well as some uh, information on what the, you know, back end team's been working on. And to ArenaNet's credit, they've been working on a lot this past li um past i guess year and a half or so where they've done a lot of restructuring get their balance cadence to where they want it um as well as let me just choose a song there we go um as well as like stuff that we're actually experiencing such as the new option that will be in the game tomorrow to inspect people's fashion although uh, apparently in world versus world and pvp you won't be able to see their weapons which is a little bit weird oh hello green man would you like to fight hello there's a gvg going on up here Oh, he has a friend. Does his friend want to fight? Oh, they're both mirages. Gross. I think I have enough cleave to take that, but I don't know if I want to chance it. Hello. You want to fight? Can I do it? Can I fight? Can I walk over there? Alright, he wants to walk over there. I'm going to bow at him. Welcome, guys. Yeah, check the blog post out. It should be in the community post. Uh, if you haven't caught it, uh, it should be on Reddit as well. Um, we got some, like, very cool teasers for what's coming up with the with the game. It's really neat. I guess they don't want to fight. Oh, well. Go over here and take this camp while they're doing GVG stuff. But we've also Fashion Wars Our Lady um, to fit our little Berserker theme. And this is, um, if you've been following for the past few weeks, you know I've been, like, iterating on various warrior builds. Um... This is probably the third or so Berserker build that I've shown off, our version of this build. And this one's actually Sword Sword Longbow. So tried some stuff. Um, you know, Mace, obviously very good, but there's different ways to run Berserker and this is one of my favorites. So 
It's going to be fun. Wow, we're getting some lag from this GBD. All right. Maybe our uh, opponent's lagging here as well. Possible. Always possible, never probable. Did my ally just, like, run away? Like, do anything, dude? Is this, a, this is not fair. What's his friend doing? I don't want to win a 2v1. I'd feel bad. Oh, he killed my friend. Now I can fight. Probably should have tried harder to save my ally here. And is not running out of buttons. He has a lot of buttons, that's for sure. Mirages and world versus the world, man. When can you hit them? Oh boy. Oh boy. Man is uh, very dually. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a problem. Oh boy. That's me. Is this Shocktify? Were you fighting me? Or are you, uh, you the man on the hill waiting for me to die? <laughs> uh, I never know when I should team up against people or not or who's good. That was my bad. Thank you for the fight if that was you, though. It was fun. You're the other one. Yeah, man. Uh, it might have stuff for account progression. It always has minis to unlock and whatnot. And usually there's some new weapons. But actually, uh, contrary to what I just showed off, this build is actually pretty strong. Um, it's one of my favorites. I really enjoy it. That man hit his interrupts down, but also I blew my berserk mode way too early trying to see what my ally was doing. So I should just go no mercy in world versus world. It is what it is. It just happens. Let me uh, double check Twitch and then we can actually get this going with 100% of my attention span. I was trying to like set things up and such. All right, we're good. Got an ad, which means Twitch is actually working. All right, Shocktify. Oh, is this you? Is this you? I think this is the Mirage I just fought though. Not you. Bow if it's you. You're jumping. I think it's you. All right, let's do it. It's a bad place for 1v1 though. There's people over there. Let's go back to our like spot. Yeah, we will be doing an RNG giveaway, um, and I'll try to give some stuff away for Sab as well. Um, I know people like the, uh, the mounts and whatnot. Welcome back, Kashima. Hopefully you're well. It's going well. Just lost a uh, quasi-1v1 to a Mirage. All right, let's do it. Whenever you are ready, sir or madam, I am ready. Hit him with that bow. All right, let's go. Ah, that day's mantra. Too good. Oh, my food ran off, of course. Ran out. Ah, 
Esmer just have, seemed to have permanent chaos aura now, I guess. I guess it's just the thing to do since it was the last. This is a pretty good rule in this game where, it's like, if it's the last thing that Arena Nets touched, it's, like, pretty good because they tend to balance like that. So, good fight. Thank you, sir. Oh, did you buy lattices, Kashima? Then I will enter you in the lottery. I didn't actually notice that. Thank you. Um, yeah, if you're in the guild, um, shout out. We do need lattices. Yeah, it did. Um, really appreciate it because they flip over like every day. So I will actually enter you in our guild lottery, Kashima. Thank you. Let me add that to my little note notepad here. Oh, Go. Hey, Dykeru. What's up? Hopefully you're doing well. We get a little bit of sab. I feel like I should cover the news so we can discuss it. Um, now that we had our little little duel thing, although I think Sudov just got online. But I want to cover the news real quick so we have something to discuss. Um, yeah, there. So I'll, I'll show this off um, if people did join the guild hall real quick before I go over the news. Um, one of my friends, Sea Monster, he hangs out in chat occasionally. He's very good at PvP. Is uh, I'm I'm paying him to do some scribing for us, and in order to finish up, we can't just use gold. We need like these things, um, which are in this vendor, and this vendor is RNG every day, like what she's gonna have. So I try to shout it out because um, we need like 300 more of those. So if you're in the guild and you can buy those, it would be extremely appreciated, and I will enter you into our little guild lottery. Um, it's a <laughs> pretty important you're not you're not but at mirage shocked if i don't feel bad about that um mirage is mirage is an acquired taste let me use some food so i remember and then we'll get into our news article here yeah so we have time um i'm going to pull up a chair uh and then we're going to look at our news articles so a lot of people have probably seen this so we won't spend too much time on it but i do think it's newsworthy um so we will go through it and there's some build stuff we can talk about with this as well uh, which window is firefox today it's that one it's like rng which firefox window i'm gonna get chat very interesting so i open it in private and i open it in regular because it formats a different land which all righty there we go let's make this much bigger And get this rolling, shall we? So if you didn't see it, um, we have three points of news to talk about and go over sort of today. We have the big one, which is the teaser for the next expansion, or at least big one in my mind. But they're all sort of included in this Reddit post, which I will put in the description, of course. But I do want to uh, sort of go through this so we can talk about it for the rest of the stream here. Uh, this is not it. This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. This is all spoilers. There we go. Heck yeah. All right. So I won't read through all of this, but I will read through what I think is notable about it. So strap in, folks. We got some spoilers. Uh, cookie settings? Okay, I just accept your cookie settings. Sweet. All right, some exciting news happened today, and let's go through this real quick chat. Um... And real quick, to answer your question, Kashima, I love Spellbreaker. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's probably the simplest and best warrior elite spec for PvP still. Surprise. Anyway, uh, let's go through this news. This dropped today. It's pretty exciting, um, as well as has a couple teasers, as well as a surprise feature drop for tomorrow. I know a lot of people have read this, so this will only be a few minutes, and I probably won't cut this into a few full video, but we'll see. Um, so, introducing our latest quality of life feature, cosmic, uh, Cosmetic Inspection. You know, Cosmetic Observatory CM confirmed, right? Um... As we all know, fashion is the real end game in Guild Wars 2, very true, and we have an update coming on April 16th that should help level the playing field for new play new and aspiring fashionistas. I guess that's just um, always a feminine word there, even in English. Interesting. After countless requests and much anticipation, the stage is finally set for the Revolution Interior's fashion scene with the introduction of Cosmetic Inspection. In tomorrow's release, which is also Super Adventure Box, um, you'll find a new option titled Inspect Cosmetics, as well as a... Um, slash inspect command that you can pull up here and i don't want to blow it once yours out but essentially if you didn't see the short you're going to be able to right click on people look at what they're wearing if my firefox will load and it'll only hide weapons in pvp and world versus world because you can technically do it there um so again we're not going to do a full run through of this this is what it's going to look like you'll be able to play with it tomorrow 
Um, it's pretty cool. In addition to pre-reserve competitive integrity and PvP and world versus world game modes for reasons you can still uh, not use it to determine what weapons they have equipped, which is weird, but whatever. Um, and then they go through some of the reworks for quality of life stuff. And again, this is something I do give Guild Wars 2 credit where they deserve credit. I like to, you know, words are easy and works hard, but this is, all of these things would have cost actual money and then any other MMO. Guild Wars 2 has always been, in my opinion, the king of quality, free quality of life improvements. So we got, again, Legendary Armory for free, Wizard's Vault for free in quotes. You know, they use the expansion to fund it basically. Reintroduction of Living World Season 1 when they didn't have to remake it. Um, it was basically just a news plaque that you read. I hadn't actually played it before this. Um, new and re refreshed bonus weekly events. Um, that is true. Allied player visual effect toggle. Granular post processing options. Uh, character selection. This one's actually old, um, but it's worth mentioning because it, it was fairly cool. Character selection, background customization, progress bars for meta achievements. There's one that isn't mentioned in here. Um, Guild Wall game mode options, even though PvP doesn't work. Filtering options uh, in the trading post for skins you have unlocked and recent rework of gobbler items and there's also another one that they didn't really put in here um we have there's actually two there's toggleable health bars which is under ui elements as well as um the ability to queue for pve maps which is actually really huge for a lot of players since most people play pve again going through this really quickly sometimes our work in this front is less obvious um and impacts the community in a roundabout way, like when we're doing to improve development pipeline and tools, the work we're doing to improve technology that underlies Guild Wars 2, such as our engine. Another thing they don't mention here is the sort of mental health aspect that they're trying to preserve. The assurance that their workers and their engineers um, will have a job tomorrow, which is very key for motivation in this kind of setting, especially with how tumultuous working for NCSoft and the games industry in general is right now. Um, so again, jobs not done on Guild Wars 2, that's the TLDR of this, and then the shift to DirectX 11, a milestone that marked just the beginning of a journey toward technological enhancement. They list some uh, enhancements, this is probably why you'll notice that items and lighting has gotten a lot better. Thanks to DX11, we've been able to increase the number of armature bones um, and lighting objects for new models and environments, build full 360 degree skyboxes, you know, for the gray that amnitus is but it hey it's something and begin using vertex animation on point level animation um one of the engine improvements we're working on right now is an upgrade to bc7 texture compression i have no idea what any of this means a significant no, significant jump over the technology we've been leveraging since the launch of the game and probably guild wars 1 so really 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 cool stuff um genuinely maddie this is very exciting yes um and suda i will get there in a second um, this will improve the clarity and fidelity of in-depth uh, or in development and future textures, most notably for weapons, visual effects, and environments. Look forward to that. But hey, we can turn it down now, so that's cool. And creatures. Uh, in the longer term, we'll be evaluating the feasibility of upgrading existing uh, already shipped textures to BC7 compression, but there are some technical hurdles for us to overcome before we commit. Uh, ArenaNet, if you're listening, which I don't think you are, but like, please, this is almost completely unrelated it's like side related add the ability to die the legendary backpacks and gliders for the love of god just those three like people work for them they are thousands of gold please just add a vendor that sells a diable version for backpacks and gliders please 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 thank you um spoilers ahoy these enha enhancements not only paved the way for visual visuals and smoother gameplay but also ensure guild wars 2 remains a competitive dynamic world that evolves with the community we have developments to share on this front as the team continues their work again solid job a tier communication compared to what we used to get and like kashima said for all their really weird balance decisions you know where it might seem like they make sense to you or not um this is great and again just communicating even out of the blue like this is so good thank you for more communication and then again spoiler warning here is a teaser for the next expansion which reddit has possibly correctly identified as OG pre-searing Ascalon, um, which quite possibly hints that again, spoilers, we may be getting time travel for our fifth expansion. Although we still have a sixth expansion in the works or at least in the planning stages. So again, very cool. Check this out. I will put it in chat as well as in the description. Um, again, probably not full video worthy, but I just wanted to pull that up and get it rolling for you guys. Um, they did hint a while ago that Guild, the next expansion will have something for Guild Wars vets and longtime milestone players, so that makes sense. Um, we will see. It is extremely cool, whatever it is, and I really, like, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. But that's pretty fun. Um, again, just out of the blue, we're getting tomorrow the ability to inspect uh, 
fashion, which is very, very cool. Um, there was time travel, but Kashima, the, uh, the Wooden Potatoes actually has a really good video on it. Um, the expansion that was ultimately canned and rolled into Guild Wars 2 um, for Guild Wars 1 was going to be like this walking tour of like Guild Wars 1 greatest highlights. I forget what it was called. I want my brain saying Chrono Odyssey, but that was like um that that wasn't what it was called. That's the name of another MMO that's coming up. Um it was probably Chrono so Chronomancer, who knows. But it was definitely something to consider when like, you know, what pieces of what get glued to what future projects. Um Sudev, I'll wait to spawn for you if you want to catch up. But hey, it's definitely something to talk about. It's very cool that they're, again, dropping just, like, quality of life features out of the blue. Um, and, again, the thing that I like to harp on, whether or not you agree with their balanced decisions, whether or not you think they, you know, that's completely unrelated. Great job, ArenaNet. Free features. Guild Wars 2 Utopia. Ocean Bat nailed it. Um, that is what it was called. Nice. The uh, canned Guild Wars 1 expansion, as it was. But, you know... Credit where credit's due. I, you know, I, th I think nothing's above criticism, but I also want to give you ANET credit when they do something great. And this is great. If for no other reason than they're telling us stuff. So hats off to you guys. Thank you for communicating. Please, 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 just more of this. And again, Super Adventure Box comes back tomorrow. So I probably will be doing it unless that's something people want to see me fail at uh, jumping. You'd think it would be easier on a controller. This game was not built for a controller and it's a... Uh... <laughs> It's a very not built for controller, but it, it, it's something. So if you'd like to see me fail a bunch in Super Adventure Box, I'm, I'm more than happy to show that off. Hey, Suda. What's up? Uh, didn't go fail it. Fail it being uh, world versus worlders together. Yeah, if you have any questions about this build, um, I basically set off on a quest to identify a Berserker build that didn't run defense. Uh, this one runs tactics. I dropped some food for you up there. Grab it. Um... It runs tactics, defense. It's pretty cool. You basically have to line up your CCs, and that's how you use a lot of your burst. Ooh, a person. Hello. Thank you for volunteering. Harbinger's still still a chore. Forever a chore. There we go. Got him. Now the other guy. He's gonna glide. He's gonna glide. Glide. Won't get to me, sir. Careful. You can fear him off the edge, you might die, but he'll probably glide. Yep. There he goes. <laughs> I don't know if Spellbreaker is possible without discipline. Maybe with Warrior Relic, but that, that, that'd be uh, definitely an experiment. I just love going the entirely the other way, Kashima, and doing discipline with Warrior Relic, so you have like the really short weapon swaps on Spellbreaker. Um, I think that's uh, definitely my favorite way to play it. Because you just have good buttons all the time. It's weird. It's great. Like warrior beat, but functional, you know? Fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's all down to playstyle and what people like, of course. But yeah, very exciting news for Guild Wars 2. Um, if you haven't, again, checked out Super Adventure Box, and even if you're a free-to-play player, sorry, um, please... Do yourself a favor and check it out. Um, it's extremely fun. It'll be in the Azura City, the big one that looks like a cube called Rada Novus. Um, it, or Rada Sum? Rada Novus is the lost one in Tangled Depths? Yeah, that's it. So it's very cool. It's very worth checking out. So do yourself a favor and go uh, jump some Mario tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Strength, defense, spellbreaker? Yeah, it makes sense. And then just like all the stuff that gives you, like makes you a tank, probably. I believe it. I may be jumping into PvP, but we might do that a little bit later. You, t you talk and you get me wanting to play Spellbreaker again, but I wanted to show this off. Um, okay, yeah, I can add you, Sudov. No worries, dude. 
I can even invite you to the guild if you're okay with our one rule. Uh, yeah, right. I'm, I'm sure you uh, forget the traits for defense. I'm, I'm going to guess it's the stability one if you run hammer. The uh, resistance one because that's the only trait in the middle and uh, shield nest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I doubt you take Brave Stride, but it's possible. Yeah, if anyone ever has any questions or just wants to talk builds, let me know. Uh, again, we had lots of followers and lots of new subscribers, so welcome, guys. Hopefully, you're enjoying the content. Um, this is sort of just an open community to share builds and chill and hang out. I don't, Again, I don't make any money from this crap. We, I thought, saw we had a couple resubscribers, so uh, thank you, guys. But that just goes into the giveaway pot. Um, if you don't have 20 supply suit, uh, you should run supply, but I guess we'll see. Look at this man with his golden French coat. Oh yeah, no escape is mandatory on Spellbreaker. I, think I have to turn this a little bit. Make sure you're like almost hitting the wall. Uh, yeah. Gibbs, I thought I sent you a guild invite. Sorry if I didn't. Yeah. I've sent you an invite, so whenever you get a chance, you can accept that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. The only thing Greatsword really has over staff right now is um, the fact that it gives you Fury on the F1, in my opinion. Like, the, the Evade is nice, but, like, uh, on the 3, it's not, like, super great compared to staff, because staff is just so juiced. So here's the question, chat. If it's time travel, and I think this wall's down, make sure you have 20 supply suited, um, or as much as you can get. We may have to run supply. Um, you can make pistol work on Spellbreaker if you run, what's it called? Uh, Shieldmaster. It works fine. In world versus world, not in PvP. But, so here's the question, chat. If it's a time travel expansion, if it's all themed around, you know, time travel, if they've already hinted that we were probably getting weapons again, but with maybe better balance cadence or flow, hopefully, what do you think, um, what's going where as far as, like, elite specs, right? Or elite weapons. I would like to dream that Thief gets Greatsword, but I don't see that happening when Thief doesn't really have a dedicated support weapon outside Scepter, unless they get, like, a support Greatsword, which would be weird. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, trying to use Shake It Off. Game has decided I don't get to use Shake It Off. A lot of burning, sir. You are a burning weaver, that is for sure. Oh man, I love this build. It's a lot more fast paced than a lot of Berserker has to play normally because you don't have stances, so you have to really watch your health and kind of spam your abilities, but it is what it is, you know? Life presents us with challenges, etc. And has all the stability. I don't get to CC him. He's just going to kite us around until his Zerg gets here. That's the problem. What did I even run into? <laughs> I didn't think we'd actually get this, not in the tier we're in, but like, it's just fun to try, you know? Dang, Spellbreaker's almost dead. That's bullshit. I definitely got that Fire Aura. King of Fire should make your Fire Auras last like twice as long as they do.
One day I'll be able to move. It'll be great. Nope, I won't be able to move. Hammer breaker. Kashima, this is you. <laughs> oh, man. Mesmer shortbow, but a melee weapon? That'd be interesting. Like, they just throw the arrows at people or stab them. Thief is the only class that can't use a greatsword, though. So a lot of people have wanted, like, a Ronin-style thief for a really long time, Shocktify. I, uh, I'd, I'd definitely be down for what Ocean Bat said as well, as far as weapon balance goes, where they take a lot of the offhands and make them main hands. I thought Mesmer main hand shield would be really cool for a really long time. Um... And I I'll also think the other, you know, possibility that we get underwater weapons would be really cool as land weapons. It's going to be really interesting. <laughs> Ellie's crying. I don't believe that Ellie could ever be forgotten with Cal on their balance team, dude. Okay, just take this tower. Can we take it back. I gotta remember that I'm, like, way more offensive as a Berserker than, like, the Spellbreaker I was playing before. Dude, if we gotta get you a cat. Make sure you're using those birthday boosters if you have them. It's the place. I can drop you a bank if you need it. Oh yeah, Devil May Cry, like everything for Thief. It'll it'll be sick. I just don't know how Thief Greatsword would play, you know? Um, I mean, they're not super concerned with balance right now, but like... Without making it too slow, you know? Because a lot of the Greatswords, even, even on Guardian, are like slower weapons, sort of. Um, so I don't have any idea how like Thief Greatsword would play. Grab a catapult. I think I still have supply. There's a lot of good thief weapons. I just think that they should have gotten an offhand instead of a main hand or both, you know? I think it was really weird. Like, Axe is such a weird weapon to me. Want to run supply. You're lacking badges of honor for the war claw. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, you just gotta play more. I mean, the, the reward things will help with that, but... There's no magic bullet, I guess. Yeah, Thief could get focused as a possibility. Warrior could get focused and, like, punch stuff like everyone wants. You know. I'm just wondering, like... If they're so focused on... Not even purity of purpose anymore, like... You know, just filling all the holes in the rolls. Um... Why do they give everything? It's always the question. Yeah. If they had development bandwidth or time or cared enough, I think it should definitely should have been offhand, offhand, like Axe Axe Thief. And then the offhand um, for Scepter could actually be more supported Gibbs. Like, I don't want to live in an echo chamber. I know I've talked about that before, so if you guys disagree, let me know. But I definitely think that that's a better armistice for that. Fight me! Or are you part of the... He's part of the GVG that's going on. This is what it is. So if, how this build works, chat, um, if you didn't know, I guess I can show it off again here, is you throw down a fire field. If you didn't know how King of Fire works, I'll explain it really quick. It's based on that. Um, one of my favorite traits in the game, not the strongest, but whenever you get a fire field, you can use a rage skill to detonate it, which is pretty sick. Um... There's a lot of other nuances to Berserker, like this skill counts as a rage skill and a leap, so it'll give you a fire aura as well as detonate it. Um, if you are running Outrage, you can actually detonate your leap mid fire aura and get another one whenever you land, because all warrior leaps for reasons count um, in two places. I think they accidentally kind of rolled the functionality of the double finisher trait into all the leap skills, um, but it is what it is. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Look at this man. My crafting boy. Hello, crafting boy. Here. You can have some discount food, sea monster. Here. Give me this catapult. It'll go faster. 
I really like this heal. Um, I wasn't even the second iteration that I didn't show off of this build, Kashima. Still ran the shout heal, even though I didn't run the trait for it. Um, the trait is just kind of steroids. As far as healing goes, I just sort of wanted to try to work the trade in because it's it's sort of answers that question of people always ask me how I build craft and I originally was like, oh, okay, what's Berserker good at? Well, it's good at burst damage. What do I need for burst damage? Well, I need quickness, so I'll take Martial Cadence. Um, so I started out with Martial Cadence, which was gain quickness on hitting with a burst skill, which feels better. The problem with that is then there's other ways to get quickness in World vs. World, so I was like, all right, well, what if I just run a Celerity Sigil instead of Martial Cadence, then I get quickness that way, then I can take the heal, you know, heal shout. Um, it is what it is, you know? Ooh, look at this man giving me alacrity. Got our whole party here. It's too good. I might end up running Martial Cadence and Celerity, you know? The problem with that is then you just don't have enough Condi Cleanse. But basically, more quickness equals better. Warrior Focus Burst should be like a dive kick. Heck yeah. I mean, I still think Stomps should just work like the Vindicator Dodge, but yes, I agree. That would be sick. I don't know if delaying it would be the healthiest interaction like the Cal would go for, but maybe in OG Guild Wars 2 that would be a thing. You know? The reason I feel comfortable running the Shout Heal on this build, um, Kashima, instead of what's it called? The one, normally on Berserker you run Blood Reckoning because Blood Reckoning is good, it lasts for 5 seconds, it has a 20, you know, it's one of the fastest heal skills, it's a 25 second cooldown, so you're only really down 20 seconds. Um, normally I run Blood Reckoning. The reason I don't on this is because the Berserker Sword F1, like in Berserk mode, has such a long cast time that I find you don't really get a lot of use out of Blood Reckoning unless you run, you know, you use it for the... Longbow F1, right? <laughs> Let's not talk about Dragon Slash Boost. You get those filthy words out of my chat. Um, <laughs> sad. <laughs> like, um, the reason I run, I feel comfortable running the Shout Heal is because with the Warrior Relic and Discipline, you have such a short cooldown on your weapon swap, you basically can get whatever bursts you want out. So you, you're not really limited by being stuck in a weapon set as far as like, before you can use your second burst, you know? Um, uh, hello, sir. Would you like to fight? You're jumping. Man is jumping. I mean, let's see, monster. Well, I was going to just, like, 1v1 you, but all right, fine. And now it's on, man. Now it's bully time. Poor jumping man just wanted to go about his life. I'm sorry. Maybe my allies will kill you. Oh, Sudev's got him. Maddie, you're disqualified from all future giveaways. You be quiet. And also, technically, that's not the correct spelling, and you know it. It's got, like, the weird double dash thing. <laughs> oh. Pretty good. So, again, fun warrior things that you can do. You can actually throw it on the F1 and trigger uh, Berserk mode at the same time. Shout out to Captain Crapface for showing me that one. Oh, nice. And other things to remember is if you're not right in front of your target, uh, your Scorched Earth will just fail for no reason. Yeah, or something. That's the official name for it. Dragon slash boost or something. Can confirm. Ow, my eyes, chat. One hit me with a fat hydrate check. Drink it nearly enough water today. Ouch. Turn off all my lights so I can actually see while streaming. That would be good. But yeah, if you didn't know, we have little coins that you can, like, play with on the channel. Um, I have yet to come up with anything actually useful. Maybe I'll, like, add push-ups for something if there's, like, a national workout week or something. Like, Sudo does push-ups and then the entire stream will just be me doing push-ups and ignoring my chat. But... It is what it is. I'll figure out some fun stuff. There's already some good stuff in there. Like posture checks and hydrate checks and such. Um, the perma stab thing is only in World vs. World, though. They really nuked the stab duration in PvP. Although, you might still be able to get away with it. Because, like, that ha stab on CC trait that I think Kashima's talking about in defense um, with their build is... Pretty good on hammer. It's kind of like the um, 
the auxiliary hammer trait. I'm just trying to think of what they could do with the new expansion as well. If it's going to be a running tour of Guild Wars 1, there's gotta be, like, some Hall of Monuments stuff, right? There's gotta be. Thank you, Shock Pie. Appreciate it. Appreciate the hydrate check. This is challenge mode chat. My eyes are watering, so it'll be fun. Ah, oh, these guys. Now we have friends. Come back here. Actually, an even fight. Possibly not, because we have, like, more friends, but our friends seem to be going that way. Hell yeah. Got him. Going after this guy. Nah, homie. I have stun breaks. Oh, but I don't have friends. My friends are down there. <laughs> we screwed. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. He tried. It's okay. PvE only skills like Guild Wars 1 for x -Pack. Maybe. I know, I, we really should have had that. Dr. Fives are right. That's on us. All right, chat. Let's do our first giveaway. We've talked about some news. Uh, getting a little delayed here. Usually I do them like half an hour, but let's uh, let's go, since we've been talking about it, um, let's just do the number five. So not the written word, just the number five. I got to set this up. Exclamation point five in chat. Uh, if you'd like to enter our first RNG giveaway, we'll do a couple tonight to make up for my lack of prepping trivia. Um, Oh, if you'd like to enter, exclamation point five in Twitch or YouTube, you have to be followed on Twitch. You do not have to be subscribed on YouTube, but thank you if you are. It's just how the APIs work. Um, so get those in. My bot will grab them. Um, got a couple entries already, so shout out to you guys. And yeah, they're going to be good. I'm excited, whatever they have planned, honestly, because, you know, even if Arena Net does like weird crap and their balance decisions are baffling and Bladeshorn's in a dumpster forever, uh, not salty. I like when they try new stuff, and End of Dragons plus this, like, you know, renewed amount of communication, really solid. So, kudos to them for getting their, you know, ducks in, ducks in order. Gonna be good. Oh, this man. It, it's alright, you're allowed to enter. Even if you're just hanging out, Sea Monster. Thank you guys, appreciate it. I've been thinking of, um, more stuff to do just for, like, video roundups, if and when I have time, now that it's getting into summer. And one of the ones I've had in like the back of my mind for a while was I want to do like a what's up with sigils video, right? Because it's so weird, like the disparity in power of some sigils in this game, you know? There's even a sigil that drains life and one that heals you when you interrupt, but the one that heals you is like the same amount, but it has like a longer cooldown. It's so strange. Oh yeah, they're, they're GVGing. I just think it's funny we got run over by a separate Zerg. Although this Zerg is red, so they won't care if we take this tower. I'm not a catapult. I'm doing too much world versus world chat. There's a portal in Brisbane Wildlands that's locked behind a bridge that bandits are rebuilding. Interesting. Is that like a, you know, Banjo-Kazooie Easter egg? Or is that something that's like new? Because sometimes they do that before releases, you know? Also, so I really want to like do the achievements for Old Lion's Arch, but I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I just haven't had time. I want to get the pass key so bad. <laughs> and you found nothing. Oh, that's too bad. I'm proud of you for glitching yourself past it, though. Been there since launch. Weird. Interesting. That'll be like the, the Tengu place, you know? We just never go there for reasons. Tengu city of birds. Bird people. Like, can we come in? No! <laughs> oh, racist birds. 
it might be used in an entrance for instance of season three kashima do you not own season three shame on you dang i got the tag but i didn't get credit I should duel a bunch to see Monster and lose. Now that I've made bold claims of this build being good and fun. I'm really enjoying it though, genuinely. It's really cool. Probably my favorite Berserker build I've made so far. I was trying to make Hammer work. It's just the only good button on Hammer is like the F1 itself, you know? You can shoot a rock suit, Evan, then I'll take over. I know you don't have masteries. It's all good. Give you guys alacrity on my Berserker build too good but yeah get those entries in exclamation point five in the chat uh twitch or youtube um just got to be followed on twitch if you are watching over there and we will get our first rng giveaway going for 25 gold yeah, what do the numbers um oh did i not throw them far close enough i might be an idiot are we green we're not green. Okay, I'm just an idiot. You have to throw catapults really close on this tower. It's dumb. Fine. I can be an idiot. Fine. Do this again. I like that the first thing people used mounts for was to, like, glitch into all the unfinished areas in the game. <laughs> I find that very funny. Oh, god damn it. They took the camp. Well, I'm porting back and getting supply. We're taking this tower, Chad. It's happening. Dude, burgers are too expensive for national burger eating streams, Maddie. I was watching a thing, even on like fake burgers. McDonald's has gone up like a bunch. That's not even food, you know? I wish. I have thought about that though, like streaming Hades and just listing it as like Guild Wars 2 or whatever. No, this guy's gonna take it, god damn it. Oh, 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 no, no, you don't get my camp. I'll fight you for it. Uh, if my weapon swap will trigger. Oh, god damn it. Well, we go out fighting. We go out fighting. Ah, uh, I almost had that. God damn it. I guess we're not getting that tower chat. It's tragic, truly. We tried. Pretty happy with how her fashion turned out, though. I've been trying to make, like, a white phoenix lady for a really long time. Uh, run this giveaway for another two minutes. Then I will do the drawing, and we'll have a couple more. I wish they would put more interesting sigils in PvP as well. And honestly, so here's, here's a question for you, chat. What do you think of energy sigils? Because, in my opinion... Whether it's PvP or World This Is World or PvE, they're kind of like the best sigil, right? Even if you're only talking about like doing damage as a Mirage or a Daredevil or whatever for PvE. Because they give you permanent vigor. But it's better than permanent vigor because it stacks with vigor, right? So... I almost think they like they need to just rework energy sigils or compensate Mirage and take them out of the game, right? Um, they're weird. Yeah, there's some crazy stuff people have done to, like, glitch out of bounds. Um, I think I remember that video about Kodakus as well, Kishima. Beyond the Wall does a, does a bunch of them about, like, stuff he's found. Yeah, the problem is, again, when it infringes on, like, yeah, like, what devs want or what they, you know, can show off. I don't know how you would make someone delete a video, though. Threaten to ban them? That seems odd. 
way worse stuff people have done in this game. It's so weird having like a Zerg over there and having zero frames and then like not caring about us taking the camp, you know? Because it's the GVG or whatever. Very strange. How long's the supervisor got on it? 40 seconds, not bad. Go watch the GVG. Look at all this food, chat. Get your food if you want it. Dude, I've come over here and get this thesis. Seeming is sick. I'll click it. I click it. I just think they're so broken, you know? Like, energy sigils give you permanent vigor that stacks with the 100% vigor because it just gives you flat energy, right? And even in PvP, like, having vigor light all the time, basically, where 25 energy is still really good, you know? So, I think it would do a lot to, like, slow down the... Especially right now, with everything, like, having a million blocks, dodges, and evades. I think it would do a lot to, like, slow down the game and make people sort of commit to forcing, like, the choice between bigger traits, which lets you dodge more, and also, like, do a lot to balance things. Obviously, it would hurt hit Mirage pretty hard. I say that as a Mirage player. But in exchange for that, they could do things like, you know, refund more endurance when they shatter, stuff like that, weave it back into Mirage. It's not that they would necessarily, but, you know... Um, I, in an ideal world, maybe they could just give Mirage a trait, you know, whenever you weapon swap, you get 50 Endurance or whatever, because that's clearly the one that it's going to impact the hardest. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just think, I was looking at Sigils the other day, sort of penciling in this video, and I was like, wow, Energy Sigils are really broken, you know? No matter what game mode you're in, very strange. I don't know how that's possible. I have most censoring turned off, Gibbs. I can check Twitch. Yeah, you, you be you be clean. My Christian chat. I don't know. I have it set on whatever the default is. Speaking of, anybody been playing Final Fantasy? No, I'm kidding. The Cactars are funny, man. It's a great, great enemy. I've been watching a lot of, like, Final Fantasy playthroughs and such. Very funny. Look at this pirate ship meta chat. That's true. If you write Dragon Slash Boost, you automatically get yeeted out of the chat. And confirm. Alright, chat. We got an RNG giveaway to do. So. Said I would draw it two minutes ago. It is now two minutes later. Uh, we'll do it while we watch this GVG and then we'll cat of that tower. So cool. Alright, three, two, one. To Chucky, you have won. Congrats. Give him some congrats, chat. We'll be doing more RNG giveaways in a second, so don't despair. Uh, probably in about 20 minutes, so we will think of something else, but congrats. Oh, man. Sea Monster, fight these people. We got this. It's like t two people. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, congrats to Chucky. Give me a character name or an account name to message. I will uh, send you money as soon as I die to all these people. You're going to be good. Wow, that's so many people. All right, let's not real quick. No, Suda got caught. No, Sea Monster got caught. I'll die with you. I will die with you. We almost won that. 
<laughs> yeah, but congrats to Chucky for our first RNG giveaway. Again, I do these Monday, Tuesday, whatever day I can stream first. Um, so shout out to you guys for hanging out, enjoying the content. And yeah, we're going to have some sad stuff coming up in the game. Pretty exciting. Got a teaser for the new expansion. Also pretty exciting. Yeah, let me send you money, sir. Okay. Sea Monster, I sent you more money for the scribing. I hope you got it. And it wasn't another Sea Monster. good there so we'll go over the build real quick um this one i really do enjoy even though i've only won, won, won like one fight um tonight i was having a lot of luck with it the other day battle celerity energy cleansing obviously uh kind of leaning into that op sigil nature and then these are the traits again it is in the description if you want to grab it um it's a little bit more mobile than traditional berserker with the low cooldown sword leap but i really enjoy king of fires i've been trying to make it work five ever since it came out basically and this one tends to make it work because you have so many gap closers and kite uh, kiting ability. The downside of this build is you really don't have the invulnerable uptime that you have with other Berserker builds. So take that into account when you're running it. You know, make sure you're pressing your heal skills off cooldown. You don't really have the, you know, just stance and vulnerability that you do. Oh yeah, it's fine. Um, so the only thing that will make it not fine is if you bought the game through steam in which case i can still send you gold but i can't gift you gems gem store stuff so if i ever do like a gem store giveaway um for specific items i can't send uh steam people gem store codes but i think i can still send eu people gem store codes and such i think it's totally fine jump attacks yeah it'd be pretty sick i just kind of want more aerial mobility in okashima I don't know how the crap they'd balance it, like, you know, Devil May Cry and such, but it'd be pretty sick. Like, if Dragon Trigger went up, you know? Kind of cool, just saying. Wallet. Wallet. I may switch to this. I'm gonna switch it up to Marshall Cadence. Just for funsies. Have all the uh, quickness in the world. Be good. Really lean into these fireworks runes. Gotta try stuff, chat. Can't just find a build that works and play it over and over. That's boring. I mean, you can. So more power to you if you enjoy that. But I like build crafting. again you gotta whoop uh gotta make sure you're triggering your fire auras mister very rude as patches would say uncharitably done but as a condi build this does dick out damage as long as you can do your setup so know what your setups are you have two hard cc's with bulls charge and headbutt as well as the shield bash um which will all trigger celerity sigil so make sure you're trying to set up your cc's when you're in sword shield Yes, I do. That's kind of what I'm talking about, actually, Kashima. They, they're talking about the, um, when Bladesworn came out, there was a glitch. It was colloquially, the, colloquially known as the Bladesworn Space Program, where in water you could Dragon Slash boost yourself. Uh, it was sort of like the old Rocket NG Rocket Boots thing, where it would just, like, send you into space and you could get into, uh, towers with it. It was really cool. Do I think Spectre's a good Dreamer class? I think it's fine. You mean a class you want to use the Dreamer on? You could do some kind of like pink shadow theme. I think it'd be kind of sick. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Energetic Blanc. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Relies on getting lots of quickness and such. Yeah, I know, right? Defense would probably be better, but this is, you know, this is what I've landed on. <laughs> I didn't say the dash, Kashima. I think we're safe. I left out the dash and or uh, dragon trigger boost. I see a person. Where's this person? Trying to tab target to them and they appear to not exist. All right, whatever, fine. Um, Spectre is a good roamer. I've seen a bunch of them. You have to kite really well, but you can definitely do it. The Chucky. I've seen a lot of like. I think it was like. 
scepter, pistol, sword. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was like scepter, pistol, sword, dagger or something, or like scepter, dagger, sword, pistol, um, specters. And they rely on like the ability to kite. You can run quick pockets, so you have plenty of initiative. Um, very just like strong build in general. But basically you kind of do what I do on my Bladesworn where you like hit somebody, run past them, about face, hit them again and such. Kind of based on that. Has to be X now. That's also, yeah, it's possible. Sea Monster's probably right. I forgot that X existed. I was just, I was remembering one that I fought, Sea Monster, that I, I couldn't touch him even on my Bladesworn. We were just like cutting each other for half an hour. But yeah, so it would be Axe, whatever. Um, Scepter, Pistol, probably. There you go. Chat knows better than I do. Oh yeah, Chucky. It's it's pretty unplayable. Mine too. We'll see if it comes around. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. If you're enjoying Bladesworn, I'd hit up the um, Spellbreaker build from last stream. It plays pretty similar to like how Bladesworn should play in my mind, where it's got lots of setups and kiting potential and such. It just doesn't have the gun saber, obviously, or the, the theming. Alright, well, Shocktify has your answer there. As far as how to run Scepter. Or Spectre. Spectre, Scepter. I guess Scepter only if you're running Condi. Haha. <laughs> Pseudo said the thing. I, I wonder wonder often how much of Anet's balance is down to what puns they can make on skills and classes, you know, like Spectre, Scepter, and whatnot. Because it seems like an inordinate amount, you know? Aerial Agility, Piercing Pebble. Nice. Congrats. I hope you enjoy Harbinger. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and then you can just run a Katana skin. That's true. That's true. There's actually a pretty good katana that's a one-handed weapon that you can get from playing the game. I think from the... What's that map that everyone hated? The tunnel gaming map? I think it was from that. That reward track. Gaiala Delve. That's what it was. Well, Harbinger's pretty easy. And it's also very strong, Sudev. But if you want to try Reaper, do it, do it. Power Spectre with Sword Dagger using Wells is super good. Yeah, I'd believe it. You could probably also take... Um, I think there's still a Relic that gives them quickness, although I don't know if you want to give up your Relic slot for that. You know? Quickness on Well. Nudie has some amazing builds. I believe it. They're very good at uh, that Thief class. Uh, we should Ninja. I was going to say we should Ninja this keep, but like that Zerg has been around tonight. It's kind of been but use that relic yeah i'd assume i know that on thief if you can wrap your brain around not immediately pressing a weapon swap warrior relic is also pretty good just for the additional amount of buttons you get you know the limiting factor on classes that don't run have discipline or aren't like elementalists or revenants has always been their weapon swap time i guess i should also qualify that as well as things that don't have a super form now that counts as weapon swap so Reaper would be in that pile as well, that you don't really need Warrior Relic. Everything else is really good on. Maybe it's just my playstyle and I like it, I don't know. Look at all this burning I'm not doing to this veteran ember. I hope I can take this. Where did you guys go? Sea Monster, how are you dead? Er. Oh, Firestalker aggroing from space. Classic. Things aggro from Narnia, dude. Die. I kind of rezzed you. You didn't have to just jump off and die. It didn't work on Hollow. Yeah, it doesn't work on things that have like inbuilt hard, hard cooldowns to their weapon swap or their super form. So like Hollow and Ranger. Um, I mean, you can play Bladesworn to Chucky. Like, there's, I have a world versus world build for it. The problem with my world versus world build is, A, it's super... The way I built it, it's, like, super optimized and specific, and you need, like, this insane combination of, like, commander's gear. Um, 
And Bladesworn doesn't really do anything that the like the other the other classes don't do, they they like don't do better in my opinion. I don't know. If like if you can make it work, you can make it work, right? Oh hello sir, would you like to fight? Would not like to fight. Damn. Even as a ranger. Nice job, dude. Okie doke. Get here when you can, Sudev. We'll try to like make our way there if we can. Staff is just like really good on all the warrior specs right now. There you go. Shock Defies have been making it work. I kind of get the same sense. I just still, like, it doesn't... It still has, like, the damage if the stars align and you can hit with your gunsaber skills, right, Shock Defy? It's just, like... I don't know. I just think Spellbreaker's better. You know? Yeah, but it looks cool, and that's the most important thing, right? Same thing in fighting games, too. It's just, like, Fashion Wars is the most important. Dang, his ally doesn't even want to help him. Two of them over here. Careful, the sea monster is two back here. Turn around, fight these guys. That man is in rampage. I do not want to fight that. living for a while as a spellbreaker i mean here's a here's a symposium on why spellbreaker is good chat this fight right here oh dear oh dear oh dear i am cc'd forever i used my stun break skills arena net ah uh, is what it is i might actually switch to spellbreaker i was really enjoying it last time and this build's good but it's not good like out outnumbered i need to be on something that's like good versus outnumbered if we're gonna run around oh boy Tactic strength and he was killing everyone. Makes sense. It's probably just running the Bladesworn build that everybody knew from back in the day, Shoctify. Good old Shoutsworn. It's probably Axe Pistol. Bladesworn's good versus duels, like you said, because the only thing it has is tank. It's it's what it has. I still think you lose so much utility, though, if you don't run defense with Shield Nester, but, you know, healing skills are good, too. Oh, we can regroup. Perfect. But yeah, if you are in the guild and you have a chance, please do buy um, the lattices from the guild hall, and it will enter you into our uh, little lottery we have going here. Thank you again. Appreciate it, people. Um, need those four seam monsters. Pretty good. Why do you do you mean you hate fighting them or do you mean you hate running it to Chucky? The only thing Pistol's really good for, in my opinion, is abusing the Shield Master interaction. That's kinda it. I think they really need to diversify Warriors offhands as far as design space goes. You know, if they if they wanna make that a priority. Which it clearly, you know, doesn't need to be. I just think Bladesworn had way too much on release and they just haven't gotten around to bring it back up. I hate the weapon, don't worry. Yeah, it makes sense. I think the only thing, like, the other thing that it has is, like, the little hops for mobility, so you can kind of use it as an offhand mobility weapon, but you don't really, like, get a lot of benefit out of it. Oh, this guy's new. I feel bad. Sudev, get him. We'll get the camp. Oh. Sorry, guy. Yeah, the Aegis is the only reason. I think it's okay for the mobility as well, but, like, it doesn't do damage. It, the scaling is so aggressively tuned for having, like, full might and PvE. Like, the... I guess you could say it also gives vulnerability. Yeah, 5-4-5 five, five is the obvious combo. It gives vulnerability, which is something that's only really on offhand dagger and mace. Which isn't, like, the worst thing, but it's it's definitely not, like, the best thing. 
Nice pull. Go over here. The camp will kill him. Yeah. That man was trying to live the thief life. I originally really wanted to run Leg Specialist on this build. It's just that the one that gives protection heals you like so much better, right, chat? No, he wasn't bad. It was just three of us. The Spellbreaker build's really easy to build, Gibbs, is the good news. You don't even need to, like, change much. You can just try it out in PvP. It's really sick. Oh, is he that guy's friend? I thought he attacked us. I try not to attack people just out of the blue. See if we can take this tower. XX Zerker. Oh, just all the damage. All right, chat. Let's go exclamation point Berserker for our next giveaway. So I'll call in a little early, um, but we'll do exclamation point Berserker in chat if you want to get those entries in. Uh, this man is that guy's friend, I believe. So. We'll let them do their thing. And we will have pseudo throw catapults in the correct spot this time. But you can get those entries in. You have to be followed on Twitch. You don't have to be followed on YouTube, but thank you if you are. Again, shout out to you guys keeping the giveaways rolling. Um, had some followers as well as some subs over the break, so thank you as well for that. Give me a whole $2. It's amazing. Then I can take that $2 and buy a gem code. This... I wouldn't duel up here, dude. There's all kinds of jacarandas and stuff. Jacarandas. Here's a fun question, chat. What's your least favorite enemy just like to fight? It doesn't have to be hard. Just like, what's your least favorite enemy in this game? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Kashima, link it to me. Might have to go to Twitch to link it, but possibly. I can always just try it. Can't promise I'll try it on stream. That man ate our catapults. Oh, he dies. thief go now he's like over there uh thief killed him sudev kind of sucks get him dang he died the end what he gets cost me like three gold All the condies, dude. Hydras are the worst. This bristlebacks, interesting. Um, fire elementals because they don't take burning. That's fair. Mine are like the Mordrum Thrashers. Um, I really just, I I find it really annoying to just be like tickled by vines and they do an inordinate amount of damage and you have to like look around for the Thrasher. It's it's so such a like unpleasant Guild Wars to experience. Like, oh, what's Got me at half health. Oh, this thing that's like over there. Call his friends. Yeah, I'm killing it. Ah, oh, he got me down. That's so much damage. Hit a friend, though. I was a 4v3 and suit I've got here late. All right. That's my bad. Fair enough. 
Yeah, full auto you and then you're like, can't do anything. That's fair. Sea Monster, have you been playing any PvP since the season flipped over? I'd be down. I think I'm like gold three. Not on this, on something good. Switch back to the one where I can heal you guys. Yeah, get those entries in. Exclamation point, Buzzerker in chat. Uh, all you have to do is be followed on Twitch or exist on YouTube. Again, thank you guys. Appreciate the support. It's just how the bot works. Um, and you're 21. Jesus, I'm not going to... And I'm not going to drag you down, man. I'm going to get you an alt account and we can, we can run that. Jesus. I was having a blast on Spellbreaker. Um, I've been running around on Desert a lot tonight. Let's go to here. See if it's queued. Check this border out. Real quick like. I actually really like that enemy, Kashima, because I have so many questions about how, like, Joko made Awakened Canids, like the, the Anubis dudes. I know it's just, like, because they look cool, but all the weird, like, mummified Joko things, it's like, how did... Because they're just supposed to be, like, resurrected, you know, whatever race. Like, how did... How did you exist, you know? Crazy. I'm gonna wait for Sudev. Does not get a lot of time to play, so I will wait. I have million SSD, man. There we go. Hey, Jan. It's pretty good. Uh, we witnessed a GVG. Took some stuff. Won some 1v1s. Lost some 1v1s. It's good. Really enjoying this Berserker build. It's got a little bit of support in it. And uh, you're just in time for a second entry or a giveaway. So if you want to enter, just exclamation point Berserker in chat. Try to make them pretty accessible. I don't know, chat. I could try streaming Sab and failing at jumping. Definitely something we could do. I'm pretty bad at Sab, though. You're so close, man. You could unlock Harbinger now and just not have it fully unlocked, you know? There you go, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's fair, Kashima. And... It's kind of butt that Scorched Earth just, like, doesn't trigger. Also, I would be so down if they told us, like, give us a new date for another balance patch. It'd be sick. You want a 1v1? I want a 1v1 this guy. Up. Oh. You guys are killing him. It's not very fair. Should take the reveal shit. Oh, he's got blinks. He's got he's got camp hacks. Goliaks have so much health now, Chad. It's crazy. I know it's just me being old. I know they up the health of them, but it's like, oh yeah, and their butts just bl block all the projectiles in the world. Pretty funny. Dude, Kishima, it can't get worse. I know balance patch is like conditioned us to like have reflexive don't hit me reflexes, but it literally can't get worse than it is. How do you even get up here? You guys are hackers. And cheat for you. Nice. Nice. Well done, sir. Can you tell Sea Monster's been playing on the uh, Necro? This is sick. Don't say it can't get worse. 
It can't. It's not possible. Everything is so crazy right now. Necro's sword goes way further than it should. Warrior staff heals for like 2,000 health base on each of the skills. I don't know, man. I like to give Arena the benefit of the doubt. Let him cook. Even if my class has been nothing but dumpstered for the past year. This supervisor's been invulnerable five ever, dude. How did only one of my strikes actually do damage there? <laughs> that was funny. You also have to play this build like a spaz, and I kind of forgot that. We have to weapon swap basically at cooldown. Minstrel staff on warrior. Yeah, so it'll actually scale with healing. Maybe. They could just make the healing zero base. Yeah, for all my complaining though, I don't think the Willbender buffs were like that impactful last patch, you know? Like, it, it got nothing but buffs, and Heaven's Palm is still an insane skill, but... It goes to show how, like, cracked, um, what's the other elite skill that everyone takes was, like, that one's so good. Renewed focus, that's it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just save your negativity for when the patch drops, Kashima. <laughs> save it up like a fine wine. This is not a 1v1, I don't think. Maybe. What's going on over here? Man has a tag. The monster's killing this worm. Yeah, exactly. Well, vendors feel exactly the same as before the patch. Gibbs got there. A twitch delay. Oh, you hit my friend. That's not happening. Right here. There was. Dang. I got the thieves. All the thieves. And a harbinger? Gross. Monster, where are you? Oh, you got one down over here, huh? Sorry, Sudev. I see. I see this is not a 1v1 at all. I'm gonna go get something I'm good at then. I'm just dragging you guys down. I'm gonna switch to Spellbreaker and be right back. But get those entries in! Exclamation point Berserker in chat. And we'll get this rolling here. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do some blades for him. Let's do some blades for him. We did spellbreaker last time. How are you reviving me? Don't revive me. Let me die. I'll kill myself. I want to die so I can switch. Nice. Got the stun off. Oh sick. Oh man. The night of switching, I suppose. Less themed than last time, but still. Oh yeah, it's fine. You got overwhelmed. I'll be right back. Switching characters. Ah, uh, spellbreaker. Yeah. Go to spellbreaker, lady. Vengeful return patch was weird. Or change was weird. Like, I'm, I'm all for it. And that wasn't last patch. That was two patches ago, actually. No, is it queued? Damn it. Don't be queued. What bat borderland is that, even? Laguma Alpine. Good, it's not. Sick. Oh, yeah. The, there's a couple other traits that are you still have to take for downstate. I think Necro still has one that, like, ancillarily bonus gives them a bonus. But it's, like, not... Not nearly as mandatory as that one was, you know, if you want to, in terms of, like, balance, right? Very odd. You had to do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm all for eventual return, like, not being in the game. Very odd. Very odd trait. I wanted to do, like, a, a downstate build almost, where you, like, swap in the downstate food and whatnot, but that's, like, almost cheating, you know? Kinda gross as far as the playstyle goes. Just, like, have this roll it, the chef build, we could call it, where you just roll through all the different food you need for different situations in your inventory. Be pretty funny. What are you guys doing? How are you? No. Let's see. Is this a 1v1? I will respect unless you like tell me otherwise. Sudev, don't don't fight. Don't fight. I think sea monsters just Oh no? Okay. It's whatever this is, Kata. Catalyst with all his movement speed in the world. Man is moving, chat. Oh boy, I got sea monster. It's a brawl. This is all all I can describe this is is a brawl. Oh, where's our tag? Oh, our tag's dead. Fuck. I thought we had like more people. Okay, this is I see what's happening here now. We gotta bust out the big guns. Uh, I use X to play on a controller, and my setup is in the description if you'd like to download it. It is up to you. Quite easy to set up and it works on all portables. Pretty sick. Um where is she? She's at the end of the list, isn't she? Oh, that's sad. Downstate life should be had for most classes. I just want to ask Hal why what Ranger can still use skills in downstate, you know? It's such a weird, weird thing. Alright. Let's go, Maguma people. We need a hype song chat. No squad. No squad join. No. I literally can't lose with the Ruby soundtrack. And we're even gonna switch to like a serious skill here. We're gonna like try. Um what food was I running, chat? Shoot. Yep, suit up took it. That's what it was. It was like this weird one and this. Rock. Uh, no. Not gonna come to squad. You do. Come to our party. This seven, this might be rough, dude. These are Maguma people. Nice. Just whiffed for no reason. It's good. I love that I just can't heal you. Ooh. Yeah, these people know what they're doing. It's gonna be a lot of pressure, dude. They're like on comms and stuff. Keep trying it. Oh. Correct, I'm not joining squad. I have zero intention of joining the squad, Sudev. This is roaming gameplay. 
I think Blackgate got pushed down to tier one. You haven't logged in to check. Interesting. Yeah, I don't I don't even care about the heal in on the pet, honestly, Kishima. I just wonder why they can like still use their skills, you know? Even even the pet running around harassing you is kind of like similar to Mesmer clones. You know what I mean? Um, you can join the squad, it's up to you. I'm just not gonna do it. I wanna see if we can put a dent in these guys by ourselves. Nah, they're all like on their own separate voice comm thing. Start taking out the Rams though. Sworn's damage is so just uh and we got three over here. This would be an even fight. Gonna do it. Oh the monster, no! I used my stun break. It didn't matter. Good. Got one, dude. These guys again. Damn, how could he dodge my attack that has six years of wind-up? There's no way. Ouch. Got Will bent real hard, dude. I think I had two people jump on me there. Mashing Defiant Stance, and it did not give a shit. some zerg command videos a long time ago so funny to hear dude zerg callouts are always the best especially even like raid calls from back in the day like on things like mumble you know very funny very funny stuff get those entries in though chat draw it in about two minutes exclamation point berserker in chat for our second giveaway of the night if you have not What's running back here? What is this? That's just a red guy who wants his dailies. Maybe switch back to Berserker. Let's see. Oh, it's the one thief. He followed us. If they turn around. The Harbinger. Yeah, the problem is they have so many dudes. There you go, General. You got it. Oh, it's... Yeah, herding cats, like I so, always say, is like the hardest thing. Alright, chat. Got some entries. Uh, sea Monster's fighting something. Let's see if he needs help. I think he's pursuing that one dude. Pursuing Lubu. Uh, good, we're good, we're good. Got most people in. And... Get a song for it. Perfect. Three, two, one. Uh, Jan, you have one. Yal Aliha. Nice. Um, that was very mean of you, sir. Very rude. Dang, he's even got the chrono stomp. I was doing a giveaway, sir. That was mean. 
but it is fair. I was AFK. So, Jan Aliha, you have won. Congrats. Give him some congrats in chat. And give me a character and I can send this over to you. And then I can go get revenge on that Mirage. Uh, just whisper Salem, S-A-L-E-M, or just type any of your character names or your account name in chat and I'll send it over to you. Thanks, dude. Thanks for joining. And we'll do one more to make up for the fact that I uh, was an unprepared idiot today, chat. That's, uh, that's on me. No trivia. like pressing weapon swap i'm like why can't i weapon swap oh yeah my class is broken literally the weapon swap doesn't cool down cool down at the right time oh you guys are fighting stuff and i get there in time state tragic truly tragic chat we had our whole group maybe we could have won that that's my bad all right let's regroup at spawn and we'll go up but yeah whisper salem s-a-l-e-m all one word or just give me a character name yeah i switched for the fight sword dancer i can go back to berserker that's fair you tuned in for Berserker gameplay. I've been rotating through them. I really enjoy this Berserker build. It's just for group fights, it's not as good because the like ability to just dump out boons on Blades Warren's a little bit better. And it's Maguma, so you gotta take it seriously. But you're right. Remember to hydrate, chat. Oh, you sent me a mail. Okay. Um, yeah, you're already on my friends list. Dang, I gotta take, like, all my Mystic Coins. You will just give me stuff. Hello. Send this over to you. Thank you, sir. Probably get ambushed by, like, three Maguma people again. Yeah, there is your money. We will be doing one more RNG giveaway. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Cool. Pocket Magzerg is the best Tactivator. No, you guys ran in again. I need to be there. Damn it, friendos. Too many for you guys to go in alone. Not gonna work, man. If you can play the fun game of can I wow? Can I even weapon swap? Free group at spawn. There's like way too many here. Do they even have four or five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's like seven people just spawn camping us. That's not very fun. Not very charitable. Still will make it work.
Damn, you got me. There we go. Got a duck in here. Well, we killed one person. That 1v7. 2v7? I'm proud of us. Yeah, it was, I was super dying, dude. Dang, they're piecing out. Uh, game, 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 game. There we go. Game's rotating my camera in weird ways. It's too good. The lag button is, and always will be, the strongest skill. even fight you run away don't you mag people uh superior sigil of fire is pretty good because it generates adrenaline but i don't zerg that much sword dancer so you can definitely run it air as well anything that does um even if you run blight which is like a point black sort of sigil um it's pretty pretty sick see you kashima have a wonderful night thank you for joining um blight does like a packet of zero damage and poisons in an area so you can run like fire blight if you really want to just like Generate extra adrenaline. Okay. What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, me too. This is why I hate cats, chat. So fun. They add so much to World vs. World as a game mode. Very dynamic gameplay. Nice. I did 100 damage to that one. That was perfect. On a thief, he's just gonna go like over there. Why well, I should have been on Spellbreaker, stayed on it. Yeah, see, he's already over there on a cat. Thief things. <laughs> Just thief things, I suppose. Hey, Musser, where are you? God damn it. Off in space. Are you chasing that guy? Or were they all coming to kill you, maybe? That's unfortunate. Killed Harb, got jump. Makes sense. Good job on the Harbinger. Should probably use a primer at some point. Yeah, they're back. Doing the good old spawn camping dealio. I love that I cast like Longbow 3 and then in a year it gets there, you know? Get here when you can. Sort of deal. I was thinking of putting a Sigil of Blight on this build, just because it weapon swaps so much and like poison's pretty good. I just don't know if I can fit it into the Sigil slot. Thinking about it. They're around here though, is the thing. Careful, dude. All the guards. I cut my target change to that guy without me doing anything.
Nice job. Nice job. Good pick, Sea Monster. That was sick. Man's top 21 for a reason. Yeah, if you like what Sea Monster is doing, you too, with a shitload of experience, can uh, one day play like that if you unlock Harbinger. What is this? This is a third man. Hello. Eagle Griffin wants some. We can take this camp now. It's pretty nice. Well, he drove him off. Uh, yeah, it's on the leaderboards in PvP. I think he said he's decayed down to like 29 or something. They give out titles for it as well, which is why, you know, people like win trade and manipulate all of them every season. Like, that still matters. <laughs> it is what it is. People need to self validate somehow, I guess. But Sea Monster gets it organically, and he's a really good player. I've known him for a while. Even when he's rusty, he's good. Not in World vs. World. It'd be cool if there was a Roamer leaderboard, but, you know, for how much cheating goes on with PvP. I wouldn't even want to see that. This man is typing while running into a wall and getting killed by a supervisor. Come back to your keyboard! God damn it. <laughs> Kiba is pretty good. Oh, you lost your win streak too, Kiba. I see. Yeah, no worries. I hope you enjoy Harbinger. Thanks for joining. Hey, Sea Monster, do you have an alt account? We can do some PvP if you want. I don't want to tank your rating. I'd be down, dude. What is this? Why does everyone want into our party? Hello? Sure. Is this your alt account? This this char? See you, Sudev. Have a good night. We're doing one more giveaway as well, so thanks for sticking it out, guys. Appreciate it. Wish I had a Berserker build that wasn't just Stance Zerker, you know? I'm gonna drop this. I don't know who this dude is. Just whisper me on your on your altar, whatever you want to queue on, Sea Monster. I think I'm gold three, I think. Although maybe we should be on voice comms. Here, how about this? I'll pull up Discord. And, uh... No, I'm talking to Sea Monster, Suda. Um... I'm gonna pull up Discord and just not stream it. How about that? So you can you can yell at me and tell me what to do. We can have, we can have good old one-way communication that's vital in PvP. Uh... Let me find... There we go. Muted. Good. Perfect. Yeah, and then if you come on Twitch, I can have callouts that will be like 15 seconds delayed and have no help to you whatsoever. It'll be perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no worries, dude. I like that we drove those Maguma people off, even though they kind of like we won one fight and they kind of peaced out. Good. I kind of want to go to EBG.
Nice, we can even just slip into it. Hold Q. Good. The perfect setup. Exactly. See, if he was streaming to me, Jan, it would be even better because then I would have even more delay. And we would both be effectively yelling the same thing at each other. Yeah, I will be back on Wednesday for those curious, um, getting back into our regular streaming, regular streaming schedule. Uh, not regular talking schedule, but, you know, is what it is. I do my best. Um, for more of that, and I don't want to do, like, a full news roundup, because I don't think we're getting a balance patch tomorrow, so I'm going to throw it over to someone like Muckluck for that. Um, well, transfer to a better server, I don't know, dude. I play in an OCX server, so I can always get in whenever I'm awake. <laughs> It's one of the best things about being on Sea of Sorrows is like really active at night, but because I fixed my sleep schedule, I'm like not up super late anymore. It's wonderful. Dang, Roy is now online. They getting that sweet five astral acclaim. What do you think, chat? Did I message him? Hey, Roy, when I told you or asked you to bring back Darren Dragon, I didn't mean Dumpster Blade Sworn forever. Nah, I don't want to bother him. Don't bother devs. But shout out to Roy that he actually logs on and plays. At least tests the waters here and there. I think I've seen Cal online once. I've seen a lot of other devs online though, like story devs and such. Chelsea logs on every time there's a new, like, one of her drops. The one who did all the legendaries. She's, like, really nice. Gone over here. Oh, hello, everybody. Can I play? Nice, I'm not in combat. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, nice, I'm still not in combat, and I have no uh, adrenaline, and now I'm somehow at half health. Good. What I wanted. Exactly it. Hello. Oh, you can hear me, and that's what counts. Just whisper my character. Salem is probably the easiest one. Or that. Gotta kill this guy first. Very important. Hell yeah. You could use where it's at. Hello. Mysterious person. Isn't World vs. World yesterday? Yeah, it's it's cool to see that like Roy plays and stuff. He's a homie. I should invite Sea Monster to the guild. You're three on the, three zero on this alt. Perfect. I'm gold three. It's too good, dude. Don't worry. I will tank your streak for you. I was doing all right on Spellbreaker the other night. Yeah, warning. Fair warning, Chad. It's gonna change again. We're going back to Spellbreaker because Pseudo does not have a Berserker build. for BOA. There we go. Here, Doliak. Nice, it just didn't throw the fire field, my favorite thing. That's pretty solid. I don't know if it's just an adrenaline thing or like a personal, you know, skill issue or what, but like, it feels like whenever you're just labbing stuff, skills have such a low cooldown and when you're in actual combat, you know, it takes forever to cast stuff. Defiant Stance is my favorite example of that, which absolutely, I'm pretty convinced does not have a one fourth second cast time. Oh dear. Two people here. Three. I will give it a shot. Or I'll just abandon my ally to die. You know, things. I don't want to. I want to die with him.
Like, I can't. I'm dazed so much. No. There's no echo. You're fine. I'll just talk to myself. It's fine. Oh, I see. Well, it won't it won't echo echo like reverb. I can still I can hear it. Ah, oh, damn. I'm going to come back dead and give them points. Oh, can I get out of combat? Hell yeah. Uh, it'll probably be less egregious. Oh no, because you're listening to it on Twitch. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. How do you load faster than I do? What the fuck? Oh, hmm. I had to switch characters. Sorry, chat. I did buy a shock mount, so that shouldn't happen anymore. Oh, is this that nuke chronomancer thing? I've been seeing this. Thing is crazy town, dude. What should our last word be, sea monster? You get to decide. I'll do it after the game so you can enter too. No, no holds barred. I don't know any of stuff. I'll try not to throw too hard. I think it's so strange how like all the PvP people just know each other. I think that's so weird. Maybe I should stream our Discord. Maybe people would be interested. I'm not gonna do it though. We're going there. Ah, oh, damn! I don't have a birthday booster. Tragic. Coming to kill me. Oh shit! I'm on the wrong build. You didn't hear that. I don't know how. gonna throw that hard. I have to just give him this because I am not on the right build. That's my fault. Jesus. I don't know how. I didn't change it in PvP. We just traded points. Yeah, he got our home. I got their mid. Interesting.
I should have just kept trading points. three people. Unblockable, but okay. Snowballing. Try to create some space here. following me around. Um, just try stuff, Shocktify. Do you want to get into PvP? Like, find someone with an alt or someone who just doesn't care. And just try stuff. I want to take this point, but we need to win a fight. Find a build you're super comfortable with. Like, an ad possibly an adaptation from, like, World vs. World or something like that. Make sure you're on the right build. That helps as well. Uh, don't do what I did. I don't know how it got switched. It's very weird. I did not change this in the PvP lobby. I only changed it. Maybe it was the update or something. I don't know. dead he's created maybe oh so I should have just kept running like three people following me for a second there okay this went poorly I warned you dude It's not even a duo shock to fight. Just like something you're comfortable with, you know, turn chat off in general. I'm doing a bad example of giving you like, you know, how to get into PvP with this being on the wrong build and such, but it is what it is. 
sometimes that happens. Although, if we can't do work while I'm 2v, 1v too far, it's going to be rough. Yeah, it's weird that there's no solo, like just solo solo queue in this game. But it is what it is. I'd really like one. I think that'd be sick. Damn, I thought I had another dodge. That's what it is. We weren't gonna win this anyway. Sea Monster, the game knows. It knows you're on an alt account. Um, it's sort of split in a similar way, uh, Jan, in that if this if you have a duo, this game will look for another duo. Um kind of why Sea Monster and I got really you know, I, I said that as a joke, but it's kind of why we got really tough opponents here. Um, where there's so few people playing PvP that other people duo queuing will generally run into each other in some capacity. Um, but there isn't like a formal singular duo queue in this game. Alright, that went incredibly poorly, but can't confirm pistol sucks in PvP. Let's uh, switch to the correct build and actually fix this. I don't know how the fuck that got switched, because I haven't actually put this girl into PvP. But this is just a world versus world variant. So, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry, Sea Monster. So, switch to another build that's actually good and try this again. Oh my god, Dot played Guild Wars 2. So... Three and then four is the PvP one. That's so weird. All right, well, whatever. Gremlins, I guess. Gonna jump into PvP, so I make sure I'm on the right build this time. Only tried PvP once. No idea what I would to do, and my team wasn't very happy. Yeah, it's just kind of like a do it and go sort of thing shocktify um but in general there's different roles there's like plus one there's um uh, side node which is what i should have been doing there um if i had had the right build but i very much did not and i'm gonna put her back in armistice and then we're, we're good to go sorry about that um intentionally just tanking sea monsters rank it's okay i'm giving those to coins later but it's general just like a good idea to be comfortable on your build. Um, and then like know your role and go from there. Dang, I have too much Astral Acclaim. Let's, uh, grab some boosters here too, chat.
poor inventory. It's also good to have two characters, just one for world versus world, one for PvP in general. Because if you try to world versus world and then queue into a PvP, for example, it'll eat your food. And if you're running expensive food, like, you know, build crafting channel, expensive food, um, it's not a super great feeling. But let's get one more entry in chat for the night. Exclamation point PvP in chat on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, let's see Monster Enter as well. Since I tanked his rating. Feel a little bad. But get those entries in and we'll do one more RNG giveaway for tonight. I'm astonished uh, Twitch is keeping the bitrate up for Twitch. Here we go. A little bit better. I really don't have any idea how it was. Probably default. That's another thing, Chad, I guess. Always check your shit. Oh, man. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. The cool thing is, Shoctify, if you have another warrior, you don't need to, like, level it up. You can just like jump in at level two after you do the tutorial or whatever. Or if you have the old Lion's Court Pass, you can just use that to skip everything. Finish our Mystic Clover buying buying spree here. I don't know what else to buy from this thing, man. There we go. Claim our Astral Acclaim. All right, sea monster, scream at me. I'm gonna get some water. Sorry. Uh, see, Monster, tell you what. I'm going to send you some bonus money. I feel bad. And also dox your alt account on stream. Oops. But this can be a little bonus for crafting. And also, Sudo feels bad that he was in the wrong fucking build template. Buy yourself something shiny. It doesn't have Soto or EOD. Jesus. All right. You really can't use pistol. That's That's weird. Oh yeah, I guess they would lock you out of that for a PvP. Huh. That sucks. I should help you level that, uh, that account. Do you always say that I'm live? I don't know. Do you have alerts turned on, Yura? I go live every every same time every week. Nine o'clock. Two hours and fifteen minutes ago. Hit the little uh little bell on Twitch. I don't know, does Twitch have a bell? Eh. No idea, dude. Sorry. You can turn on YouTube alerts. If you have a YouTube account, you get all the alerts. Yeah, it's Monday, Wednesday, and sometimes Friday. Very occasionally. I don't know. Have a good night, though. <laughs> Jesus, dude. MMR in this game is such a dice roll. I'm switching maps if it's going to take this long. I'm going to go tear up some EBG. 
How's learning German? Very slow. I had a bunch of work I didn't get much in last week. It's going. I like the app that I have though because it's context it like actually pronounces stuff for you. So it um you get a little bit more of the cultural exposure than just reading words and having a robot read it to you, you know what I mean? Very good. If I never need help. Oh yeah, that's thank you. If I ever have any questions, I will try to use you as a resource. There we go. All I have to do is bitch a little, chat. You just have to bitch a little sometimes. And all your PvPQ dreams are come true. And for those asking or wondering or catching the VOD if you made it this far, for Super Adventure Box, if you enjoy it, the Infinite Continue Coin probably will be, um... Will probably be worth it for you, and it's usually on sale. So... It's definitely a unique thing, but keep in mind, the festival's for three weeks once a year, so weigh that against, you know, your purchasing decisions. What region? Uh, I'm from America, aka the land of ignorance, but if you would, um, I mean, just as far as pronunciation goes, but you're from Germany, and I have been working on my German pronunciations. But again, get those entries in. We'll be drawing it after this match. Exclamation point PvP in this chat. Hopefully I don't tank Sea Monster this hard. Okay, I have a shield this time. We're good. Uh, let's just double, triple check. Oh, damn. Um, so shield. This is, in fact... Where is my effing... Whatever, this is fine. Yeah, my PvP stuff was all jacked up. That's really interesting. Huh. It's really weird. I don't know how that happened. Should be good, Jet. Jesus. He must have got the Dragon Hunter going. I think it's dope. Sword Dancer inspection like elements. Amazing hard to do anything negative with that, um, although I'm sure people will find a way. You know? I have a feeling they all went to our home. Yep. Knew it. Jesus. It just hit me. Sorry, it's hard to read chat and uh, play at the same time. I think inspection's great, honestly. I think it's something that should have happened a while ago. I hope they do like some events tied into it and stuff, like trivia contests or fashion contests. I think that'd be amazing. Did a little bit of a rundown on it earlier in the stream. Dang. 
mean, he's got the covers. All the blocks, Dodgers and Aegis. Everything's invulnerable. Everything's always invulnerable. Everything's always invulnerable, chat. Oh, it's so bullshit. We lose far. Cutting those people forever. We may need actual voice comms for games at this level, Sea Monster. Might be a thing. Ow, that hurt. He hit me with a hammer? No, it was a great sword. I thought it was just um hammer sword. Hit me with that fat set uh sword teleport. Great sword teleport. That's why I say I'm not good at this game. Whenever, like, Maddie's not watching, because I'm not. Like, people are very good at this video game. I can build craft. Like, I'm good at build crafting. It is my thing. It's okay, though. It's okay to have that thing. Doing, homie? Why are you here? Go help. Run, kill this guardian. How's that guy not dead? Jesus. This fucking dragon hunter bullshit, dude. Dude, Bull's Charge can't even get through it. Dragon Jail is hard. Gonna cap that? Alright, good. Tap the point, dude. Guy said I'm using hacks and so dumb. Interesting. A little bit of a comeback here, chat. Gonna die on this hill.
guy's so mad. Alright. I will do my thing. I better win this, this bell. I don't know why that guy didn't go to the bell. things. Got me. I thought he had left. That was me being dumb. I might have thrown there. There's a tiny Azura hiding behind a box. Although they have too far now, maybe. That was a good game. That was a really good game. Ooh. I should have just gone far the entire game, though. That was ridiculous. Ugh. All right. Sea Monster won't tank your rating any further. Thank you for the games. I appreciate it. That guy was so mad. It's like <laughs> Warriors hacking. It's ridiculous. Oh, man, chat. It's been a night. But yeah, some Spellbreaker PvP. Berserker builds. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'll be back on Wednesday for more streams and such. Um, yeah, check it out. We got Sab coming out. It's going to be pretty sick. Um, some build ideas in the chat. Been hanging out with you guys. It's been awesome. Oh, and I owe you guys another giveaway as well. Um, we got a, one more. Okay, we can do one more. I just feel bad for tanking your rating so much. Um, I have a drawing to do though. So give me a second. Three, two, one. That guy, Lavi, you have one. So congrats, give him some congrats chat. Give me a character name or an account name and I will send you some money. Uh, let me hop into a borderland real quick. Nice dude, thank you, appreciate it. The funny part about that guy who said it was speed hacking was I don't even have swiftness on this build. That was amazing. It goes to show you when, when when you're running something that's like a little bit off meta, like the warrior relic stuff, um, people just don't know how to react. They're like brains just car crash a lot of the time. Kind of funny. Oh, I did say I was switching. Well, we can watch these people fight. Although the queue might be pretty. Never mind, we're good. <laughs> I've tanked his rating enough. Dang, people like watching PvP. Maybe I'll PvP more, I don't know. Just do this for fun. I'm just glad to have somebody to PvP with, although we I should figure out a solution for the voice comp thing. 
I already mailed him a headset. I hope we're against that dude who was crying. Is Dragon Hunter still bugged, Sea Monster? Does it still do double damage on Test of Faith or what? Because it seems like it does, but it also just seems like it does all the damage in the world to me right now. I don't know. That is a rifle berserker, if I have ever seen one, by the way. That is a full berserk, delete you rifle berserker. think so. Yeah, I haven't seen anything in the patch notes or anything to fix it. Although they might have just stealth fixed it, you know? Nigma, how are you? How are things? Doing some PvP to cap off the night. Did some Berserker roaming. It was a lot of fun. Figured I'd tank Sea Monsters rating a little bit before I go. There's a guy that was coming to me, and now I think he's coming to you guys. Look at the Condi Thief. Killing our other... Nope, it's killing Sea Monster. Oh boy. Alright, well... Be over here, I guess. Blow all my movement to try to get there. It's the same as Zara. I don't know how he was in stealth. Same as Ura. Dead. Everything does so much damage. It's ridiculous. Where is our team? Oh my god. I'm chilled, I'm immobilized. Jesus. The team is doing work, dude. Unblockable, like, CCs and such? It's ridiculous. How do they have any points? I've been being chased by four people. Wow, 
Wow, that does so much damage, dude. Oof, he shot me. I would have lived. This dragon hunter. I gotta fight you on this dragon hunter thing. It does so much damage. Yeah, this is lands down. I don't like any of their other music. I just really like the song. Gibbs. I think it's really cool. Oh, we have two points. They have stillness, though. He's just gonna sit on that point the entire game. Why is our team dead? Oh man. I think between the two of us, the game knows, dude. There's no way it doesn't. This is some rough stuff. Finally, I get to fight with Sea Monster Jesus. Hey, when we fight together, we fucking tear it up. Crank's up, by the way. Probably getting it. We'll see. Some good fights. Getting going too slow. Dang, they got it. Well, that's game. Thank you for the fight, Sea Monster. It was good. We tried. I'm gonna have to solo queue more and practice a bit. I don't feel like I'm doing that bad. Maybe that first game when I was on the wrong build and such. That was fun. Good night of streaming chat. It's a lot of fun. Have a Berserker build, have a Willbender build, and have or a Spellbreaker build, and have a uh Nah, you don't suck at DH. When we when we whenever we fought together we were fine. It was a lot of fun. So it is what it is. We've been fighting pretty hard opponents with pretty new people all night, but it is what it is. Um 
Thank you guys for joining. Enjoy Super Adventure Box. I have lost enough rating to probably be uh, rocketed back up to the stratosphere in PvP. But much better on Will Bender. Well, we'll just have to get you End of Dragons then, won't we? Um, I'm Pseudo. This is Build Wars 2. Uh, hope more PvP. Well, it, your opinion is noted. There is more than likely. Yana people enjoy it. Maybe I can get a little bit better as well. Um, but yeah, cheers, guys. Have a great night. I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, yeah, feel free to share your builds in the future as well. I look forward to seeing them and enjoy Super Adventure Bucks. Peace out. I'll see you in Tyria.